So I don't usually do these types of videos, which are more opinion-based and less fact-based, but I get asked about this enough that I figured I would throw this one together. Um, and this is that I think the else statement is good, and I want to show you a few reasons why I think it's good. Um, so let's jump into it. So I'm going to show you two equivalent pieces of code today, and I'm going to show you why I prefer one over the other. Uh, so let's start with the one that I don't prefer. Uh, let's say it's some function which takes some value, I don't know. <laughs> and you have some base case. And sometimes the base case is not super uh, you know, unambiguous, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, let's say, I don't know, in the default case it's none, and if, or some output, y. And you'll say that you know if something x, then y equals you know, x times two or something. I don't know. It could be could be anything like that. And then return y. And so this is one way to write this particular piece of code. Uh, and I don't prefer to write it that way. I prefer to write it like this: f of x. If something x, then y equals x times two. Otherwise, y equals none return line. I might even just, you know, inline the return statement in here as well. That might be another way to, to write this, but <laughs> let's not get into that detail. That's that's a whole different thing today. Um, we'll, we'll make the, the white space equal here. And so these two pieces of code work exactly the same way. They, uh, you know, if this thing is false, then y will remain none. Otherwise, it will be assigned to x multiplied by 2. And this same case, if this condition is true, then y is x times 2. Otherwise, y is none. Now, the main difference between these two, uh, well, there's a, there, there can be a somewhat significant performance difference between the two if the initial value here is uh, expensive to compute. So there can be a performance issue, issue um, but usually there is not. Like assigning none is essentially free. Uh, but the main differences here are one readability, and you know readability is not objective. It is very, it is a very subjective thing. So, what what I say is readable may not be readable to someone else. Um, but from a readability perspective, it is much more obvious to me that there are two disparate branches here, and that these this chunk of code cannot happen if this chunk of code happens. Whereas at a glance, in order to figure out what the two cases are here, I need to I need to actually run this code in my head and figure out, okay, so this is the default value. There is some cases where that default value gets reassigned. And I, I think like that cognitive bit is slightly more slightly harder to understand. But I don't think that's the big selling point here on why to pick this syntax. That is just one of the reasons. The main reason to pick this syntax is if a more complicated case comes along where you have to adjust these codes, uh, these pieces of code. So in a maintenance situation where you either had have to add more logic to the else condition or more logic to the if condition, uh, this form here is a little bit easier to rewrite. Um, and often when you're adding more, you know, more logic to these branches, you will have to take this form and rewrite it as this form such that you can add that additional logic. So you might as well just start with this form in the first place. Um, but yeah, usually I don't do opinion things, but here's here's opinions um, and, and why I, I like this particular style. I also touched on a little bit, you know, a performance thing. If this assignment here is expensive, then absolutely you should prefer this because, you know, you'll you'll skip the the double assignment to a variable. Um, but yeah, anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.